You need to go on to go girl. You need to go let her rip mine. You wanna do good girl? Oh man, they live when they live. I don't know, it's snowing now. I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it. Uh oh, oh, we got snow, man. We got snow. I want to have to shovel for. Oh, man, Nickle, oh, Nickle. We got snow, man. Shit, yeah, mama, good snow. All right, let me do some shoveling for you. Nickle, oh, mama, Nickle. Hold for you. Come on, come on out. Come on, I'll let you out. Come on, come on out. Come on. I shoveled for you. Come on, good girl. Come on, good girl. Come on, let's go, good girl. Come on, I gotta drag you out. Come on. Let her rip, mate. Got about a foot out here already. Let her rip. She's a one leg lifter. Oh, my neck, little, neck, little. Go ahead, you gonna push out a Fritz? Got about a foot out here. Come on. I gotta go let go little get pick up the eggs from the chickens. Alright guys, I gotta go get the eggs for the chickens. Alright guys, I gotta go and get the get the eggs. It's fluffy, fluffy snow, so that's good. I'll have to wait till it stops and I gotta get the snow blower out and move this stuff, but it's a white out basically. It's about four o'clock, so it's uh Definitely uh, coming down here, so. I'll have to shovel all this tomorrow. They're gonna watch these guys, they're gonna wanna come out. Nope, they're all up on the roost. Now I left them inside today because of the snow. So you know it's snowing now. It's probably 20 degrees out. It's above freezing in here with this little this little heater works perfect. Just keeps it above freezing. So let's see if we got any more eggs. Got four more here. That's why I like these these nesting boxes, I can pull them right out. So I'll have to count these, but I got quite a few. And what I'll do is, before I go to the other coop, I'll, I'll pull all these out, make sure that there's no bird, no um, bird droppings in there before. So uh, these guys can shit, man. You guys love to shit, huh? You guys love shitting. You guys can shit, man. You push out the fritz. Gonna push out the fritz? Next level. Next level. I got this new container here. Put. I got goat pan. It clips right on that board. It's a long one. I just got that at Tractor Supply yesterday. All right, let me let me get these all cleaned up, and then we'll go to the next coop. But I got quite a few eggs. Yesterday I got 22. So 
uh, out of all the coops. Alright guys, I pull all these these containers out. There was a little bit of stuff. I just threw it out with the rubber gloves. And they're all ready to rock and all. That's why I like these nesting boxes I made. I could just pop these right out and check them, clean them, and uh, they drop right back in. That's the best nesting boxes I think that anybody could have because uh, you have to definitely clean them out. They do shit in there and, and do their thing in there, whatever. But if you want to keep the eggs clean. What I do with the eggs is um, when a chicken lays an egg, it lays like a powder on there. So if you don't wash them, you, can, you don't need to refrigerate them for a couple of months. So that's what I do. I don't even refrigerate them. I just put them right in the containers like that. And before I, before I eat them, I'll wash them. Uh, but you can see they're, they're, they're clean. You know? That's what I'll do. I don't refrigerate the eggs. As uh, long as you leave that powder on them, you're all right. All right, so we'll go to the next coop. Getting some snow here. Let's see, uh, definitely, I didn't let them out in the runs because of the snow, you know. And I gotta, I gotta clear all this tomorrow. It's not gonna be easy. Guys are new to the coop, so hello, ladies. Hello. This one's warmer, and this one's probably 50 degrees. This heater I got as low as I can go. They gave me one egg this morning. We'll see how many more we got. I did clean all the coops yesterday. I raked all the shavings, and hello, ladies. You guys give me any eggs? Just gonna come in here and put another light on. I'm not gonna. Hello. Rooster's really friendly, this guy. You find yourself a chicken? You find yourself a chicken? Did you find yourself a chicken, man? Oh, man. <coughs> Nick, Nick Leo. Nick Leo. Hello. She's one fine chicken, y'all. She's a fine chicken. You fine chicken. Okay. All right, let's check for eggs. Here, there's any eggs in there? Hmm. These guys aren't giving me no eggs. No eggs. No eggs. Just one all day. One egg all day. That's unacceptable behavior from you guys. Unacceptable behavior from you guys. You gotta give me more eggs, y'all. Shit, yeah, man. You gotta give me more eggs. I'm gonna be going in the soup, man. Alright, I want egg out of these guys all day. That's not no good. <clears throat> Check the water, make sure it's clean. I'll do as well. I'll just dump it outside and. Give them fresh water. There's enough water in there. Just dump this water out. Make sure it's clean before I go to the next coop. But these guys aren't doing well. Give them some more time to, um... You know, I did leave them inside all day. They weren't in the run, so... But they should be giving me more eggs than that. Alright, I put that little black cap on the bottom there. And I dumped it outside. Uh, the sawdust and one that keeps the water clean. I like, I like these waterers. We'll go to the we'll go to the original coop now. This is what they call bad rocks. I gotta get rid of this brown one here and these other these other two white ones that I mix from another coop. 
Uh, one of these brown ones was giving these guys problems this morning. I wrung, wrung its neck. Had to take him out this morning. He was in here starting trouble with all the bad rock, so he's he's a done deal. Your sister had to go, man. Your sister was a troublemaker. Your sister was a troublemaker. I had to take her out. She was one bad chicken. Oh, yeah, man, she's bad. She was a bad chicken, y'all. All right, let's go to the next coop. I'll see you ladies in the morning. I'll see you ladies in the morning, y'all. Nick Little. This coop stays pretty warm, to be honest with you. Really warm. Gonna be some shoveling going on, snow blowing tomorrow. Nasty business. Nasty business. See the well, we got about a foot of snow already, so put all these little these poles in here so I know where to snow blow and whatnot but I'm gonna have to show all this tomorrow. You see it's pretty flipping deep already. It's coming in here to get the eggs. Good afternoon ladies. Hello. Good afternoon. These guys gave me these guys gave me three eggs just this morning, so we'll see if there's any more eggs in the boxes. There should be a couple of more, I'm hoping. I did clean all the coops out yesterday. because uh, I know they're gonna be inside for a couple of days because of the snow. I left them in yesterday and uh again today because it's snowing out, so. These are Ostalops, and there's a couple of uh, back black sexlings in here, and uh, Buff Orangtons. I got my rooster in here. The old guy's not doing so well. Don't shit on me now. I gotta walk under here. Don't, don't let her rip. They have been coming in here in, in the nesting boxes. No eggs. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> See how they like to go up high and roost? Hope they don't give me. Hope they don't push out a fritz on me, mama. Oh man, Nick Lil, Nick Lil. Shit, yeah, man. See how they tuck their head in? They stay warm. You can see it's looking cold outside. She's cold out there. It's probably 20 degrees out. Yeah, see, it's just above freezing in the coop here with the, with the heater on low. As low as I can go, I'll get it on about. I'll get it on a one, so I'll be alright. So this guy's, these guys give me three eggs today, which isn't, isn't that great. No. We'll have, to, we'll have to get an egg count, but I probably got like 22 I got yesterday. Probably, probably about the same today. The sex links are giving me the most eggs, the guys in the front. These other guys aren't really producing many eggs, but, you know, they are older and whatnot, so. Alright guys, I turned the morning lights on. Watch, I guess. Okay, I better look at them. Buff Orangtons, they're beautiful birds. 
I kind of like the buff Warmingtons. I only push out like three eggs a week though. Uh, with the sex links, I'll do like five. Trying to stay warm, Mr. Rooster. See how they tuck their heads in. Shots, but they like to roost up high. Uh, they like to roost. But they're getting used to the nesting boxes. I don't like these blue ones as much as the white ones because um, unless I make like I could make probably um, galvanized inserts that I could pull out. I might, I might do that. Make like a, a little tray that I can pull out instead of changing these boxes. That's probably what I'm going to do. Make like a galvanized. Uh, Galvanized tray that I could put my hand in and pull out. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens with that. I did have to put some of that blue spray on his spurs. He was kind of bleeding a little bit. I got that blue spray stuff I spray on there and the spurs. Too warm in here, just warm enough. Nice little heater. Yeah. I got it all. We put a bracket, I secured it. I secured it on the bag, and it's not going nowhere. It can't fall off or nothing. I said it's probably just above freezing in here. I just keep it above freezing because if not, this stuff will get all, all crusty and hard. And, uh, I like to give them a little bit of heat. Just just above freezing is fine with me. It's not that much to run it. Alright, I'll get a count on the eggs. I'm thinking probably two dozen. Alright guys. Alright ladies, I'll see you in the morning. I shut these lights so often. We'll see you in the morning. It's, it's pretty flipping. It's powdery stuff, though, so it's gonna be easy to move. Definitely, definitely gonna be uh, easy to move. I mean, it's deep. It's flipping deep. I got a good foot already, so I'm just kind of plowing through the snow here. Ooh, look at the birds. Look at the birds are going to the bird feeder. Look at them, they're hanging out in the fence there. See? My new bird feeder, they seem to be liking it. Man, flipping things deep. Flipping deep. I had a shovel for the dog to go out. She, she had to go out and take a leak. It's already, it's already, it's already coming in. It's already coming back. So I got a dozen here, and eight, that's 20, this they had 22, so, <sighs> also got another thing, another four batches of sprouts going, some flow sprouts, some flow seed sprouts, what I do with the sunflower seeds is I put like a half a... Well, some guys have been asking me how I do this. Basically what I do is... Some guys have been asking me how I do it, so I'm going to explain it to you right now. I get these wide mouth mason jars. Wide mouth ones. Right? And you can buy, the, you can buy these sprouting lids. Right, you can get the different color ones. I got the yellow, green, and red ones. Uh, 
but these are nice. These are all stainless. I'll take um, black oil sunflower seeds. I'll put half half uh, this full of black uh, oil sunflower seeds. I'll get four of these containers. I'll put the black half a thing of black oil sunflower seeds in there. Four containers. I'll fill it with water, and I'll put this cap on. Okay, once it's full of water, and I got four containers. And what I'll do is, um, every every couple hours, I'll just tip it upside down. This way here, I could mix all of the water with the sunflower seeds, the black or oil sunflower seeds with the shell. You know, and then what you could do is you could tip it again, because what happens is they all want to float. And you want to do is you want to soak them for a couple of days like that. Every so often, you know, flip it upside down so so they can get all soaked. They want to get waterlogged. Okay. After a couple of days of doing that, you know, you take that and then you put the sprouting lid on there. You dump all the water out, right? And then you, twice a day, you'll rinse it. Put fresh water, run it under the, under the cold water, and rinse rinse all the stuff out so you don't want it to get moldy. Okay. And then what you do is you put it you put it in, you put it upside down in, in a in a once the sprouting lid's on there, right? Okay, so then once you got the sprung lid in there and you got uh, the black oil sunflower seeds that soaked for a couple of days, you got this cover on there, you, you know, you, you, you put water in it and you rinse it out a couple of times a day. You know, rinse it out really good. Then you tip it upside down so if there's any water in the sunflower seeds, they'll drain out into this container. You can see it's got a screen on it. And what that's going to do is it's going to start to sprout in here. And you're going to do that for a couple of days. Okay. Twice a day you want to rinse them good with cold water so they don't get moldy. Then once you start seeing the little sprouts coming out the sunflower seeds, they're ready to go in the dirt. Usually a couple of days. But that's how we'll do it, you know. Two days or a day and a half soaking in water with the, with the regular cover on. And then, you know, a, a, a couple of days uh, being rinsed twice a day. And then tipped upside down so if there's any extra water it will drain out, you know. And then you could dump this if there's any water in this container, you dump it. Then what? Then what I do is I just fill this. These are plastic containers. It's got like a white insert in there. And I just get the organic dirt, or cotton soil dirt, whatever you want to use. I usually get the organic stuff. And this is the stuff I'm, I'm using. I got like five dollars a bag. And you just fill this thing up, so like maybe you know one inch down below. Put all dirt in there. Fill it with dirt one inch below this you leave it and you just take one container of sunflower seeds and just dump it in here and spread it out put it flush right on top I just put it right over the dirt and it covers all the dirt half a container uh, them, half of them half that container full will cover this right up and then what I do on the top of this is I got some tiles that I cut uh, they fit right up on top of this the towel fit, fits right on top of that and once you put the sunflower seeds on there, soak sunflower seeds, you want to put those tiles. See, I got tiles cut, so it takes up this whole area. And there's a little weight to them tiles. And the tiles will, will push down and help the roots get started. So then you keep them covered. You keep them covered for about a day and a half once you put the sunflower seeds in there. Stay moist. They'll help them to sprout. And you can see how they're, they're starting to sprout. But you have to, you have to use that. Um, you could use cardboard, but I use the, I got some cut. Um, they're just floor tiles. Basically, it's the same tiles that I had extra tiles for the floor here, and uh, I just put them. I put them on there for a couple of days or a day and a half to help them get started. And they're, they're going to take off now. Before you know it, these sprouts will take off. I just wanted to tell you how I do this because some guys have been asking me, and uh, that's how I do it. And I'll give you some shots. Uh, you know, probably tomorrow these things should start coming up. And what I do is, um, once they once they all grow up, I'll harvest them, throw them in a the bag. Then I'll take this dirt inside a, a concrete mixing bin, and the chickens will dig through it all, eat all the roots, and they'll clean all the dirt for me. And then I'll reuse the dirt. So they kind of I let I make the chickens work for me.